Welcome to this quick start guide for Barl, broadcast assistant for Rocket League. On your screen you see the timestamps for each part of the video, so you can skip to the part you are interested in. How to install Barl? Go to the Barl Discord server. Open the download channel. In here you will find the latest Barl launcher, click the download icon. This will start the download. Once the download is complete, go towards your download folder and click the Barl installer you just downloaded. Wait for it to finish installing. In order to use Barl, you need to have a Barl account. If you already have one, you can simply sign in. If not, you can create an account by clicking the sign up here. You will need to confirm your email, so make sure you enter a valid one. How to add the Barl overlay to your streaming software, for example, OBS, open your stream software. Create a new browser source. Set the source to this URL. Set the resolution to 1920 pixels width by 1080 pixels height. Leave the rest on default. Right-click the source you just made. Go to the Transform option, then click Fit to Screen. Match Settings in this tab. You can find all the settings you need to adjust the overlay to this specific series or match you want to stream with the best of, you can set the series type. For scrims, you can choose the unlimited option. This will keep track of the amount of wins without a maximum amount of games. If you are just playing ranked, you can set this to zero. Next is the series text. This replaces the default game X best of Y text. Next to that is the top text. This is if you want to add more information for your viewers. Usually this contains the tournament name and what bracket or round it is. Below the match info settings, you can find three buttons. These are quick actions. The first one, the blue button, is to reset the series score back to zero. This way you can quickly reset the series score. Next to this one is a green swap teams button. This allows you to quickly switch the teams from side. In case they didn't join the team color you expected. The final button is to reset the team data. This will reset the series score and the team names and logos. This is the button you want to hit after a series is done. So you can quickly fill in the information for the next one. Now we take a look at the team settings. First one is the series score. Here you can manually enter the score if you for example need to give a game advantage to a team. By either entering the number or just using the arrows. The series score automatically updates at the end of each game so you don't need to do that. Below this is the team name input box. Here you can enter any bit of text and it will change on the overlay. And below the name box is the logo URL box. Here you can fill in the link of the logo you want to use or you can choose a file. Overlay options. The show team. Logos option allows you to disable the images in case you don't want to display these. Team Logos on the outside option allows you to change the team name and logo from place, so the image will be next to the score instead. The Show Team Names option allows you to hide the team names. This can be useful if you only want to show team logos. Below that is the Series Score Box Indicators option. If you disable this, it will show the series score in numbers instead of boxes. The Show Team Boost Boxes option allows you to hide the team boost meters. This can be useful if you cast a 1v1 game and don't want to show the boost meters. Below that is the show player card box. This is if you don't want to show the stats card in the bottom left. This will only show in replace and while you play yourself. Unless you disable this option, then it won't show at all. And then below that are some more options for the player card. You can select the stats you want to show. Hiding the score makes it look a little cleaner. But this is personal preference. Customize the overlay. Next up is the customization of the Barl overlay. You can use up to five presets which you can customize to your liking. For example, for each organization you cast for or designs for specific game modes. We'll know that you have the community designs. These are all ready-made designs you can quickly load. Each one you can preview by hovering the image or you can just enable it to see it in action. If you want more information on how to customize the designs or make your own designs, etc., you can find more videos on this in the video description and in the Discord.